the Girls' Guide to Music Festivals. Hello and welcome to Video Jug's Guide to Music Festivals. We're at the Witchwood Festival in Cheltenham. It's tough being a girl. We all know festivals are all about the music, man, but we still have standards. So how can you let your hair down, brunch it up and still smell better than the boys? Video Jug has the answers. Step one, you will need some beads, badges and scarves, sexy wellies, sun protection, wet wipes, dry shampoo and leave-in conditioner, applicator tampons or towels, a bikini and a small towel, contraception and a mobile phone. Step two, pack light. Sometimes the guys get it right. If you don't have a man on hand to carry your bags, Packing light saves you lugging heavy and unnecessary items across a festival site in the blazing heat. Or worse, the rain. Remember, you're camping. Think about what you really need and leave the rest at home. Watch our film on what to take to a festival for the bare necessities. You can squeeze in a couple of creature comforts, as long as they're compact and light. After all, you never know who you could be entertaining in your tent. Step 3. Accessorise. Adding small touches to your camping gear can work wonders on the style scale. Stick in some beads or some funky scarves. They weigh very little, take up no space at all, and you can combine them in different ways each day. If there are traders on site, you can also add to your outfit once you get there. Step 4. Wear sensible shoes. Heels and mud don't mix. If you want feminine feet, why not invest in some sexy wellies? They're fun, foxy, and keep your feet clean and dry. Even better when they match your tent. Step 5. Slap on the sunblock. It's tempting to tan if the weather is good, but remember you'll be outdoors from dawn till dusk. Wear a high-factor sunscreen, sunglasses and something to cover your head, because sunburn is just plain embarrassing. Step 6. Stay clean. Boys can blithely recycle the same pants for days on end, but that doesn't mean you should. There may be showers available on site for a small fee, but they're often communal affairs. If you're shy, take a bikini or a swimming costume to protect your modesty. Step 7. Improvise. If the showers are busy or you can't find any, there are other ways to keep yourself fragrant. Wet wipes are a girl's best friend, and a bath in a packet when you're feeling hot and sweaty. You can also buy spray-on dry shampoo and leave-in conditioner for your hair from most drugstores if you're worried about greasy roots. Neither require water for use, so they're perfect for campers. Or you could just hide your matted mane under a headscarf. Easy. Step 8. Get ready to queue. Boys can and will wee anywhere, but girls should get ready to queue. The bigger the festival, the longer the line, so don't wait until you're bursting. Step 9. Surviving your period. Come prepared. You may not be able to buy tampons on site if disaster strikes. Take applicator tampons or towels, because you can't guarantee your hands will be totally germ-free. Wash your hands before and after, and dispose of any waste in the bin, not down the loo. Step 10. Be prepared. If you take the contraceptive pill, don't think you can skip it for a few days. Plus, it's not just boys who should carry condoms. Don't come home with more than just a tan. Step 11. Stay safe. Use the same common sense at a festival as you would in the real world. Carry a phone, be vigilant with your valuables, and don't accept unsealed drinks from strangers. Don't be scared to ask festival staff for help, and make sure your mates know where you are at night. Step 12. Be scruffy. Lastly, remember why you're here. Ditch the makeup, learn to juggle, and make some new friends. Your newfound rock and roll attitude may even bag you a rock star. Done.